Hi, my name is Brooke Haggerty. Welcome to today's episode of For the Love of Food. And today we're going to talk about easy weeknight meals. I don't know about you, but when I get in from work in the evening, I don't always want to have to put on a big extravaganza for dinner. So why not make it simple on yourself? Why not have a one sheet pan dinner? These are all the rage now, and I can see why, because boy howdy, does it make your, your cooking life simple and your cleaning up life even simpler. I love it. So we're gonna do today, we're gonna do a codfish, we're gonna do broccoli, and we're gonna do sweet potatoes. But what we're gonna do with our cod is we're gonna make a nice little quick pesto. What's awesome about this, about pesto, is that you can make a bunch of it and freeze it in your ice cube tray so you can pull it out as you need it. We're just gonna make enough today for what we need, but you'll see that you can double or even triple your recipe if you want to in the future to keep it in your freezer and to pull it out as you need it. We're also gonna be using today, we're gonna be using cod today. This is an IQF cod I picked up at my local, my local grocery store. IQF is individually quick frozen. So it has been individ it has been cleaned, packaged individually and frozen. It comes in a big bag with like five, six, seven. You can even get it with 10 or 12 in there if you're shopping at the big box stores. And you can keep it in your freezer, pull it out. It's an easy thaw, put it in your refrigerator it thaws while you're at work. The one thing I don't like about these is that they do have a lot of sodium. So we're just gonna give a quick little rinse on them before. So let me go ahead and get my, let's get our package open. And we're gonna just we're gonna leave it right in the bag. Again, we're again we're going for ease here. We do not want to have a lot of dishes to clean up. I don't know about you, but cleaning dishes is not my idea of the way I want to spend my weeknights. So I've got some slits in the bag there. I'm just gonna come over to my sink real quick, put some cold water on, just rinse them. That, was, that little sound you're hearing over there, that's my oven. I had it preheating to 400 degrees. And I'm just giving a rinse on my fish. Empty those bags out of that excess water. Quick little rinse to get that extra sodium off. It's gonna go right here on my sheet pan. I've lined my sheet pan in order to help with my cleanup. I've lined my sheet pan with foil. Because again, we're all about easy cleanup in the middle of the week and an easy dinner. So, I've got three pieces of my cod here. Let me get my hands dried. We're gonna make a quick little pesto sauce. And we're gonna start, we're actually gonna do a mint, a basil mint pesto. So it's gonna be a little bit different. So I've got some basil leaves and some mint leaves here. I'm gonna put them right in. I'm gonna reserve a couple because I want to cut, chop a couple up to put on the rest of my, um, the rest of my meal. So I've got those. I've got some pine nuts. These are pine nuts that I already, I already have toasted. When I buy pine nuts, I toast them in the um, oven or on the stove top real quick, and then I freeze them. That way, when I need a toasted pine nut, I can just pull out what I need. So I've got some pine nuts there. I'm gonna do a little bit of truffle salt a little bit of lemon pepper. There we go. And I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon juice in here. Let me go ahead and cut my lemon. A little bit of lemon juice right in there. And we're gonna use that lemon again as well as this beautiful lime that we see. I'm also gonna use avocado oil in my little pesto today. So this is gonna be about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. I've got about one cup total of the mint leaves and basil leaves in there. And then I'm gonna take some, par uh, some Parmesan. This is Parmesan that I just grated up this morning. Again, make your, pesto, make your pesto freeze that you have it all the time so you're not going through all these steps. I've got my little mini food processor here. Get my lid on there, put it on high. I'm gonna add a little bit more, a little more oil in there. 
just so it's got enough moisture going. There we go, and look at that. We've got a beautiful little pesto. It's a mint, again, a mint and basil pesto, so it's got nice, bright color in there. I made it a little extra liquidy because I want to pour it right onto my fish. So again, I did spray my pan with a little bit of, bit of pan spray prior to putting my sweet potatoes and my broccoli on there. So I'm just gonna pour this right on. And then I still, I've got some extra for when. So here we go, let's just rub that right on here. It smells bright and delicious already. Very excited about that. And again, this whole thing is gonna take about 10 to 12 minutes in a 400 degree oven. So you see how quick and easy it is. I've got some lemon juice in here. Squeeze some lemon down in there. Oh yeah. I'm gonna use the rest of my lemon. On our potatoes and our broccoli. And I, you know, I'm really wanting some citrus today, so I'm gonna add some lime juice to this as well. Cut my lime in half. Pop it down in there. Oh yeah, some lime. And as I said, we are gonna use a little bit more of the mint and the basil that we have, just a little bit. We don't need a lot because we've got a lot going on in that pesto. And we just want to add a little extra flavor. Add a little brightness. Oh, this mint smells wonderful. I love mint, it just, you know, it goes crazy. This came from, I've talked about my friend Regina before, she always has mint as well. So I look forward to the, these, the summer months with Regina. And actually, yeah, with the winter we've had this year, it's been crazy. She gave me oregano that has been going nuts for her since February. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix up here. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on my vegetables. Again, using one pan, this has taken us all of about seven minutes to put this together. I've got my sweet potatoes. You can use any potatoes you want in there. I've got my broccoli. You can use any vegetable that you want in here, broccoli, cauliflower, whatever. And I've got my beautiful pesto right on top of my beautiful codfish. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven. It's gonna go in for about 12 minutes. When it comes out, we're gonna plate it up and we're gonna eat some yummy goodness. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Um, I forgot to tell you, I had my convection on 400 degrees for 12 minutes. So if you're using a regular oven, you're going to go about 18 minutes in a 400 degree oven. If you've got convection, you're going to go about 12 minutes on this. Um, I also, um, when I cut my potatoes up, I cut them up small so they would cook at the same rate that the, uh, the, the, the fish was cooking. And then the broccoli, I left that a little bit bigger because I like a nice crispy broccoli. So when this comes out, bingo, perfect timing. You're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, I can't wait to pull this out of the oven for you. Look at this. Oh my, oh my, wow. We have got this gorgeous fish. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna platter this up. Got this beautiful fish here. And this fish too is only about 70 calories a serving. So we've got three servings here. So I've got fish, I've got this beautiful broccoli, roasted broccoli. It's all gonna go onto one serving tray, one sheet pan cooking. You can take this to your table and you've got a fabulous meal for you and your family on one sheet tray. Everyone can take what they want. 
This is also a great meal too if you are a single or if there's just two of you. I cooked today for three people because I've got three people coming over today to eat this. But think about it, so you can just make however, whatever you want out of this. Wonderful meal. I'm gonna dig right into this. Oh my, no knife needed. My first piece of fish. Oh, light, flaky, this beautiful pesto. The citrus and the cheese are like, woohoo! They're having the happy dance together. I've got broccoli. Nice and crispy. Fantastic. That hint of the basil and the lemon on there with the mint. Woohoo! Again, exciting. And sweet potato. If this dish doesn't scream to you, happy spring, happy easy cleaning, I don't know what does. My name is Brooke Haggerty. I'm the Food Chick. Thanks for joining me today.